Now let me show you something briefly. We're going to look at this in further detail later. Glucose burns at four calories per gram. A calorie is a unit of energy. That's what glucose burns at. Whereas fat burns at nine calories per gram. Can you see why the brain loves fat? Because fat is going to give more than twice the units of energy and our brain cells, they're consuming fuel fast. Let's have a look at the blood vessel and how the cholesterol works in the blood vessel. Because of its low density, LDL is always on the edge. Because of its high density, HDL is always in the middle. Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride, who wrote the book Put Your Heart in Your Mouth, she spends the first four chapters of her book defining what damages the arterial wall. See, the arterial walls are lined with little endothelium cells and chemicals damage them. Heavy metals damage them. There's your mercuries. Also what damages them is mold. And where we're exposed to, she defines, the reason why it's four chapters, she defines all the different chemicals. They're in toothpaste, they're in food. What's going to plug the holes up, students? The LDL cholesterol, that's its role, that's its job. So it comes along and it plugs up. If it doesn't plug the hole up, we would bleed into the tissues. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So they're like the Band-Aid. But the person doesn't realise that the mouldy house is killing them. The person doesn't realise the 4,000 cigarettes, sorry, 4,000 chemicals that are in a cigarette. So they keep smoking. They don't realise... The, the danger in their washing detergents, in their toothpaste. So can you see that it's still happening? And they read an article that says, no, mercury does not kill you at all. Well, I haven't read the science. You know, it's a neurotoxin. Can you see what's happening? Something else is happening. So all through the bloodstream, we've got little molecules of protein. When, we're, when a person is on a high carbohydrate diet releasing a lot of glucose into the blood, the blood connect, the glucose connects with the protein molecules and these little, these little combinations become sticky and they stick. And let's say we've got a narrow piece here and they come along and oops, they've caused a blockage. That is the number one cause of heart disease. That is the number one cause of a stroke is this little blockage here from the movement of the combination of the glucose and the protein making it sticky molecules. On a low carbohydrate diet, you haven't got that process happening. Mm. To blame cholesterol for heart disease is like blaming the fire trucks for the fire. It's like blaming the ambulances for the accidents. Well, they must have caused it. Have you noticed that they're always there? Can you see that reasoning? We have, we have quite a few books in our library at Misty Mountain and I'll write them down at the end of the lecture. I realise I didn't write down rest yesterday's books. I'll do it all at the end of this lecture. The Great Cholesterol Con by Dr Malcolm Kendrick. Notice what he calls his book. He's a cardiovascular surgeon, The Great Cholesterol Con. And this is what he said in his book.